Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, good morning. I'm going to show you. Here is my patson. This is not, I'm not going to make small ones. I'm going to make bigger ones because I'm going to use it almost like a naan bread where I'm going to cut up some meat, fry it in a frying pan, and then we're going to make like almost like a wrap. So I made uh, a bigger batch. So this would be the two and a bit flour. And I'm just going to put a little bit of warm water in here. I already have the yeast. I already have the sugar and I already have uh, oh I'm missing olive oil see that uh, the brain doesn't always work here's the olive oil and we're gonna add my warm water always warm because that helps the yeast rise and again there's gonna be the recipe how to how much you need for the for the dough or basically just follow any basic pizza dough you want these a little softer though because you want to be able to you want to be able to uh, to fold them in half. You don't have to, but it's just nice when you can fold these in half. So here it is. Ready for me. I'm just gonna put a little extra olive oil. Get sticky. And like I said, you want to be able to feed the dough, but you don't want a very um, you don't want a very stiff dough. You want a nice soft dough, because then you're gonna get a soft pizzonda, which makes it a lot easier if you want to fold it in half when you're making a sandwich. And just slowly feed the flour. See how soft this is? There we go. And just keep feeding the flour and keep getting a nice soft, soft pizza dough. We're going to pan fry these and then we're going to make small either small with a little bit of meat in it or we can make big ones it's gonna be great for lunch or even for dinner fry up some meat put some fried vegetables and then just wrap it up now when I give you the recipe guys you're gonna have to Add the water slowly because you want to be able to have, see how soft this is? You want a soft dough. If you add the water all at one time, you're going to make, uh, or all the, uh, yeah, if you add the water all at one time, it's either going to be too soft or uh, you, if you find your dough is too hard, just, that's why you do it slowly. And remember, the more you do of this, easier it's going to be for you. And if it's a stiffer dough, it's not the end of the world, really. We're just going to slowly feed it. I just want to check it right back. There we go. All right, there we go. So like I said, you can use this as a naan bread and you could just fill it up with whatever you want. You could fill them up with um, just plain roasted vegetables or like I said you can fry up some seitan okay guys here's my dough as you could tell I have a lot more than I had yesterday and I'm gonna be making my pizzondas but it's gonna be a uh, bigger size ones, so we can take them and we can fold them in half and I gotta apologize for the Sun this is in my house. I get excited when I see the sun coming in the kitchen because the way it's built, I really don't get that much sun. So dur during this time of the year, my house gets beautiful sunshine and I'm not going to complain about it. So I hope you guys don't complain that the sun is just right there. Okay, so anyhow, let's go back to my pizzodas. I'm going to be making bigger ones. And what I'm going to do is fry up some meat tonight and maybe some vegetables and I'm going to encase it and that's what we're going to have for dinner. So I'm just going to cut this 
and make my balls because my daughter was recording so I had to get out of the kitchen. So I'm just going to turn them into balls again. Let's see. I don't want to make them too small. And I don't want to make them too big either. Hopefully it'll be good. I don't want to make them too huge. Okay, so we're just going to grease my board. And I'll just make them rise again. rise again and then I'm gonna roll each one out and then I'm gonna fry them so I'll see you in a little bit guys like uh oh ooh, geez did you see that I shook you up okay so I'll see you in a bit guys goodies and then we're just gonna fold it in half I might even put this under the panini press it all depends but here they are they're beautiful they're soft they're scrumptious they smell amazing there's one or two with a couple there you go see it's got a little hole peekaboo but that doesn't matter like I said it all goes down the same place okay and if you're not using them guys cover them up and they'll stay nice and moist for you okay guys here we go this is gonna go into my pizondas I cut up some of my meat, I put some portobello mushrooms, I put some uh, eggplant, onions, I'm going to fry these up and then they're going to get wrapped. A little bit of mayo, maybe some hot sauce or some hot chili and that's going to be dinner. So, see you soon. Okay guys, where is my wooden spoon? I lost my wooden spoon. I wish you can smell this. Look at that. That is my seitan. That is my seitan. That is 
um, some uh, eggplants, onions, some portobello mushrooms, and that's going to go on top of my pizzonda, but I am also going to put a drizzle. Okay, so that's ready. Uh -oh. Now, I want to make a drizzle. I want to put a drizzle of some, um, like a creamy um, pesto sauce on top. But because I don't have any cashews uh, sitting around soaking, I'm just going to make a small hack. Okay, guys, we're going to put one, two scoops of this. I'm going to put one of pesto. And if we need more, I'll put more. And that's going to give that dish. There we go. Perfect. And I'm using just the pesto, not the oil, because the mayo has enough oil. And this is going to give that dish that perfect, perfect, let's see, mm, I could put even a little more, yummy guys, there we go, and this is going to go either at the bottom or it's going to go on top and it's just going to give it that little extra something to this dish. Okay, so I'll oh, see you when I'm plating. There we go. We're gonna, where's my spinach? What'd you make? To compensate, we're gonna put some beautiful, fresh spinach. And we top it off with our meat and our mushrooms. And this is dinner, guys. Erica, you want hot spices? Sorry? You want a little bit of hot Uh, I'll have some sauce. Sriracha and pesto? It's, it's good? Yeah, why not? Just a little bit. That's good. There we go. There you go, guys. Very simple. You grab it. Pinch it up, and that is either a lunch or a dinner. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.